There's a great question here from Robert J. Clegg, um, who mentions that Swift was called Shiny, you've said previously, uh, originally, but how mm. did it evolve into the Swift name? Shiny was a, a good name, I thought, you know, blah, 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 dot shiny is quite nice, and it changed to Swift. Yeah. What caused that? Um, it was really when it became close to launch. Shiny was a code name. So m many things at Apple and in many companies, when you start, you you create a stand-in name. And so, um, uh, I mean, make, to be more specific about it, in, in 2010, it was a directory on my laptop. Right? So you have to take, you have to take make or something. Right? Right. So you have, to, you have to pick a name. Right? And at that point in time, you have no idea what it turns into. Right? And so Shiny, the name, came from it's, it's a shiny new thing. It was kind of a Firefly reference. Firefly is a TV show that's uh, very good. But, um, uh, but when, when it was developing and as more people got involved, it became clear that may not be the best way to represent and <laughs> communicate what this thing was all about. And by then, we had a much better idea of what we were trying to achieve. And so um, I think it was... Three months before launch, we started thinking about that. We as an executive team about what, what would be the right name. You have to do trademark searches, very complicated. Wow. Turns out there was another turns out there's another language called Swift. That language was a little research language, basically, but um, it's it's just complicated. And as with naming in computer APIs, right, naming with products is hard because all the good names are taken and you know, it's just it's it's actually a really really hard problem. But I'm very happy with the way the name turned out. I think Swift is a great name for it. It connotes the right things. Also, happens to be the exact same length as Shiny, so that made revising history and the version control much easier. <laughs> so all that worked out well. Yeah, I, I I bet you folks want to know what the other names were going to be. Like, what were the backup names? Because I'm amazed it was three months before that they think, oh, yeah, we we'll yeah. find a marketing name for this. That that, that seems. Uh, significantly later, by about ooh, a year or so than I would have expected. But I guess as soon as Apple registers a domain yeah. name, people spot it and go, what's going on here? And they wonder what it is. And yeah, it grows. Yeah, well, I mean, a, a lot a lot of magic happens in the month before WWC. So um, a lot of a lot of the making it real and getting things together happens then. So yeah, yeah, I think I was it Jordan tweeted that I think the magic number for maybe Swift modules is the shiny emoji or sparkle emoji. Yep. As a, as yep. a, there we go. Yeah. So it, it'll always be in there somewhere. It never goes away. Shiny. Now, yeah. yeah ma ma magic magic numbers are an old school Unix thing, so you could tell what kind of a file something is. <laughs> and typically, you use you know very simple like hexadecimal numbers or something like that. So of course, Swift would use emojis, right? It makes perfect sense. <laughs> well, it was one of the trademark things originally. Look, we've got amazing support for characters like you've never seen before, and that's just grown and grown, which is amazing.